Good evening. Two of the candidates in the running to become the next Prime Minister have said no to a second independence referendum within the next 10 years. Former Cabinet Ministers Jeremy Hunt and Sajid Javid are among 10 Tory MPs who've declared their standing now for the party's leadership. Lindsay Buse has more. He was runner-up to Boris Johnson in the 2019 Tory leadership race. Back then, Jeremy Hunt was adamant he'd resist calls for Indyref 2. And today, under quick-fire questioning, the former health secretary again addressed the issue. Uh, are there any circumstances under which you would allow another referendum on Scottish independence? Um, not in the next 10 years. Fellow former health secretary Sajid Javid led the government resignations that sparked this leadership race. He too faced questions over the prospect of another referendum. The last one was for generation and so... It's, it's, the generation hasn't changed, so no, not forever, but not, not at least for a decade. Another leadership contender was less willing to talk timescales, branding calls for another vote as a distraction. I'm afraid this is a cheap political play. What we really need to be talking about is the success of Scottish uh, students and the success of Scottish doctors and nurses and the ability to help them to do even better. What we need to do is to make people succeed, not tear them apart. In one of his final moves as Prime Minister, Boris Johnson rejected the First Minister's formal request for powers to hold a referendum in October next year, a stance that's not expected to change under new management. One of the fundamental tests of that will be whether they're willing to recognise the will of the Scottish people, whether they're now willing to say, of course, we'll have an agreed referendum. Uh, that would be a very good start for whoever takes over. But given the runners and riders that we know about, they're all people that defended Boris Johnson. They're all complicit in the, the lies and the depravity of his administration. So I don't know how hold out a great deal of hope. As the field of candidates for Tory leader grows ever more crowded, the rules of the contest are expected to be revealed at Westminster tomorrow. Lindsay Buse, Reporting Scotland. Now, investigations are ongoing after a woman was found injured on the A82 at the Stony Mullen roundabout at Balloch on the Loch Lomond side in the early hours of this morning. The 29-year-old was taken to Queen Elizabeth University Hospital with serious injuries. Roads in the area were closed for a time and police say they are continuing their inquiries to establish the full circumstances. Meanwhile, police are appealing for witnesses after a crash involving three motorbikes near Kincardine just before six o'clock this morning. A 37-year-old man was taken to hospital for treatment following the collision. A 27-year-old man has been arrested in connection with a road traffic offence. Now in golf, Xander Schauffele won the Scottish Open at the Renaissance Club in North Berwick after a close end to the competition this evening. He finished on seven under par, just one shot ahead of fellow American Kurt Kitayama. The competition has been a warm-up for many of the players ahead of the 150th Open next week on the Old Course at St Andrews. And as the final night of Scotland's biggest music festival comes to a close, fans attending Transmit at Glasgow Green are facing some travel challenges as they head home tonight. Tens of thousands of revellers were able to enjoy the warmest day of the year so far at the festival earlier, but they were warned that an emergency train timetable may cause travel problems following the event. Lewis Capaldi will bring the weekend's music to a close shortly. Well, it looks like it was a lovely day there. What does this week have in store, though? Calm's got the news. Well, a good day to come tomorrow, Ian. Good evening, folks. So, yes, we did have extensive sunshine out there for most of the country today. And it was indeed our warmest day of the year so far, with the mercury rising to 29.4 degrees Celsius in Lukers in Fife. So tonight, it'll be a very mild night out there. We'll see some cirriform cloud pushing in from the west. The thickest cloud and breeziest conditions up in the northwest. It could give the odd spit or spot of light rain or drizzle. Into tomorrow, then, any mispatches will disperse. And then once again, turning increasingly warm, with a southerly breeze and temperatures widely into the low 20s as we push into the afternoon. Given some lee breaks, we might see 25, 26, 27 degrees Celsius in the northeast. But hazy, hazy spells of sunshine before a front arrives in the west into the evening with some showery rain and windier conditions. That front lingering in the south, but brighter and fresher conditions developing from the north and a few drizzly showers on Tuesday in the northwest. That's your up to date on the weather front. Thanks very much indeed, Callum. And that's all from us for now. Our next update is during breakfast at 25 past six tomorrow morning. Until then, enjoy what's left of your Sunday night. Bye-bye.